Just close the same for this. You can just click on the element of the calendar, which is made up of the top panel. We've got a side panel down here, and we have a background. So let's go ahead and start component. And there we can see the different components from the IC. So we can just double click on them. Start in the See that one's got a transparent thing. Transparent background. Obviously, the back we can just change the background colors as well to take your fancy to blend it in with the main theme. Put something that blends in. And what you can also do. Is insert an image. All you do is right click on the image down here, start the file, go to where your images are, and then you can move up this one to the size, size down here, 251 by 251, and there's your image as your background of your calendar. Now, the top the element, you can change the color to whatever you want. Select one of the others. Let's see that in there. And that's got some same transparent look about it. Do the same with the side one. Let's choose whichever you want. See this one's got a transparent look as well. It's like white effect. And what you can do is if you like this one, it'll be along the top as well. Right Right clicking that element, click copy, highlight the top element, right clicking that and click paste. And you have the same element on the top the side. What you may also have to do is change the colours of the numbers here to get something that makes them more natural. And then you can wait for instance. Just play around with it and see what takes your fancy really. Now I would recommend saving your theme now and again just in case you have a crash or anything like that. Just go to File and click Save. And that'll save your theme. Now, for the rest of the theme, if you click up here, maximize while you're on gallery view, what you'll get is a full screen view of all your different screens. Just basically work through them, changing whatever you don't like the look of. And just everything that's happened so far you can do, just copy from other themes that are available in Carbide or change the colour of the elements to whatever you like. And then just go through, so you select that, see so you have the two blues here, just hover over it and change the colour to whatever you want. Just to blend in with the theme you've got. Go through every element like that until you're happy with your finished theme. Also, don't forget wherever you see something such as, say, the notepad, for instance, instead of just using any backgrounds there. What you can also do is, you'll see it says the size down there, 231 by 235. You can easily make yourself an image that size. Just select it and insert it there as well. Just the same as we did with the calendar background. So, it's really just all down to your imagination.
Okay, let's have a look at the volume controls. You click on one of them, you see you get all the volume off different levels. You highlight them all, select the first one, hold down shift, select the last one, and you can change all the common colours down here. Now they are volume off, so what we want to do is keep them fairly light colours. This dark colour is obviously the outline, so let's select that back again and change all the outline, not all the levels to brown, and then the centre colour to be a light brown. Now, if we click off there, click on the volume on button, we'll do the same with these. Select the first one, hold down shift, select the last one. Notice this is a few more colours in common. That last one I'm going to make black, which is the darkest one, which is probably the outline. Then select this one in dark brown. And make this one the same colour. And I'll make this white the same colour. And I think I'll make the other white the same colour as well. Click off here just to make it a bit more legible. Now, once you're happy with your theme, I'd recommend going up here and changing to the FP2 view. Now, you'll notice here there's Still quite a few colours and things that haven't changed. So what I basically do is just go through the theme again and change everything to match with all your settings you did in the last FP1 screens. So just select the screen. And then change the colours to whichever you need it. And go through the whole lot like that. There are a couple of screens on here that don't appear in the FP1. Such as the text message editor. You'll notice once you load your theme up you will get sort of default colours here. So if you change the colours here, everything should be okay. We'll just go through everything and change them to match your other theme. 